Hi everyone, so I made some videos yesterday where I was talking about how to update everything and so no one's watched them yet, which is sort of be expected, but I'm hoping it's because no one's up to it yet. But I thought I would do this video nonetheless because the last ones were a bit confusing and I'm trying, sort of trying to explain it without having a real um, chance to demonstrate it because I would have to somehow get my hands on some out of date copy of, of the code. Um, and at the moment, at the time, I didn't think of it, but I have this Pong branch that actually needs updating now because there's been all these drastic changes. And so we need to like ref uh, pull all of these changes into this Pong branch where there's this Pong demo, uh, demo game implemented. So I'm going to just pull these changes essentially or cherry pick these changes into my Pong branch. And for you, doing it will be the exact same. You can pull it onto whatever branch you want, probably pull it onto your master and get your master like sort of up to date. And then when you're implementing your features, you can just branch off of it. So I'm on my, um, my Pong Ranch here, as you can see, but it's also shown in my snazzy little shell theme. Um, and so I'm just gonna need to pull certain commits. Um, and if we look at the commit messages, we can see that we have here, the big ones that have really happened um, have been changing this font stuff, which I made a video on, um, this mouse stuff, which I sent an email about, refactoring the libraries and this image caching stuff. So essentially these big four, these four commits um, have done pretty big changes. And if I apply them in sequential order, meaning like time-wise, meaning this one first, then this one, then this one, this one, they shouldn't really conflict with each other. And especially because these are all back and getting changes to the backend library, they shouldn't really inf affect your code if you have your code um, like in the main or whatever. So the one th problem that we might get, for instance, is that um, like if we look inside this font one, I have moved um, fonts. I, I made this tum font header and in there was some defines, which I look at this commit, I needed to add the define to main. So when I've updated this, you might occasionally get build errors because of things like you need to include a header file in your main, because for the most part, you'll be able to ignore the changes to the main because they're sort of just updating the example code. And if you're not using the example code in your code, then you just ignore it. But for instance, here you will need to include tum font but we can actually, and I tried it before, um, even with the Pong's games code base, I cherry picked this commit and it re and Git resolved or merged it without any problems, which I was really impressed with. Um, so for you, maybe you can get the same thing. And at the same time, as I mentioned in my last video, which you probably haven't watched, maybe it doesn't matter, um, Git cherry pick. If you get a merge conflict, you can just like when you're aborting a merge, you can use Git cherry pick abort. So if we look at this, cherry pick we can just call it with abort and it will essentially reset to, to um the will stop the cherry pick and go back to what the, uh, the repository state before the cherry pick started so i'm just going to get into it and we'll start updating it and so if you have your repository be a very similar um process so the first thing we want to do is we want to take this patch or the commit with all of the font stuff and so i'm going to get the commit id here and I'm just going to cherry pick it into my uh, repository. So that's the first one. And if we look at git status, I mean, merge conflicts would come up here with problems. And but obviously there was nothing and same as here. If I did have merge conflicts, then it would show me a list of files here like that were merging. And if we look at my logs, you'll now see that I have this seven, uh, this guy added a bit of dynamic and this is the same thing here. So it's got a different commit ID, which is something to be honest that I've not really had too much experience with. I've never really gone looking into the commit IDs after cherry picking, but I guess it makes a new commit with the same name on your branch. So the commit IDs are different, but the content is probably the same. If I think it's git diff uh, head and head will show us the changes and we can see, yep. So we've added like this font stuff here. So that, that last commit has done exactly what we wanted to. But now if I go into my build, um, go into build, and because this, if I go to make it now, oh, I did run CMake before. Yeah, it's gonna, you're gonna have to run CMake again because if you cherry pick this, for instance, Tum font got added. So you need to sort of regenerate your build files so that it knows that these new files exist. And so, but now we're getting the problem that this default font size doesn't, uh, it can't be found or it's undeclared. And this is because this font define was previously defined in Tum Draw. And since I've now sort of pulled all the font stuff out of Tum Draw into these Tum font files, you now have to include it. And this is exactly what this commit add font examples to main. This is what this guy does. 
And so we essentially, you can just manually add this line in if this line in if you don't want to update your example code. But I am going to cherry pick this because before when I was testing it, it didn't give me any merge conflicts. You know, probably will now, but no, get status. And so now if you look at my main, we should see at the very top that I have Tom font. So these changes have been applied. And so if you look into my logs, it's probably got the new commit as well. Yes. And so now if I make this, cause the define, uh, the, the tom font.h has that define that we're missing in it, we should be good and we should be able to build. So we can build. Now if I run pong, it's good and we can play it. Let's get some sound in this cause it's awesome. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, anyway, so now first patch done, tick. So that was, if we go back to the commits, we've added the font stuff. So the next guy is updated TUM event library to handle mouse click events. Yes, so this has also been kind of important for you guys since I over, this was an oversight from me um, when we're implementing the emulator and so that you can do the old exercises, you'll need this functionality. So we'll take this guy, added example code to show you. No, this is the example code, I don't want this. Uh -huh. So this would be the changes to main, which is what I don't want because it might give me conflicts and it doesn't really update the backend library. Updated tom event library to handle mouse clicks. This is the commit I want. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to, and for the updating, I should just mention that I'm always going to do my commit messages to sort of show you, hey, main, this is doing stuff to main or this is doing stuff to libraries or the backend. So now we're going to cherry pick this commit into our code and we have some conflicts so if we look into this oops look for the merge markers mm -hmm. I see one merge conflict here and I think I will keep this guy because that was in the commit and it's giving us a complaint saying that the head has something different and so we will delete that and keep the commit from the update now is there any more that must have been it so now we'll build and we're good so now if we look at git status we'll see that there's still the file that we had the conflict in this tom events and now we've resolved that one little merge issue and so we will add the file git where's my git add mm -hmm. now we can commit this and say uh merge merge mouse events Now we can continue with the next update. And so that will be this refactoring of backend libraries here. So this is found in this commit here. We can just do the same thing again, get cherry pick. Mm -hmm. We've got more merge conflicts. So hopefully these aren't very involved. We can see we have conflicts in asyncio.h. So And we can see <coughs> this guy, is that the only one? I've added of uh, this guy, I think I deleted in the uh, in my changes and I've obviously added in this paragraph of documentation. Now if I search for any more git headers, no, there's no more, that was it. So thank you git for that little, really important um, merge conflict. Include tom event. So in here we'll also have another really, really unimportant merge conflict. So it looks like I added more documentation to my code. And so I'm going to delete, I'm going to keep the, the commit like uh, in my most recent one and get rid of, essentially it's complaining because this comment uh, slash asterisk was here. So we're going to delete him and delete this line as well. And this should be all of the merge conflicts. So really also superficial stuff. So now I can add, um, we'll just add everything. And so we can see everything's been added to our commit, git commit 
merged. Um, and this was the refactoring update. Git log. And we can see here we have the update. Um, that's the, the, the second one. And then these, these commits that we've done here um, of the entire process of cherry picking, resolving the merges. And then, because once we've done the whole resolving, we could just continually cherry pick and before we commit a commit, but by making commits between the cherry picks, we also sort of give us little like um, save points that I could reset to. Um, but now if we, we should probably try and build it make sure that everything's running, heap of warnings. And this would be because I haven't updated my main. So all of these functions don't really exist anymore. And the same with this guy. Because I haven't taken the changes to main. And so this will be up to you to update it based off of the changes to main here. But we can try and cherry pick some of them. So let's try and cherry pick this refactoring code. Well, we'll do the Tom events shouldn't really have anything this so we'll do the refactored main demo code and I think this is going to be bad get cherry pick and we'll take click the clipboard to get the commit ID and have a look at what we've got some probably have some pretty serious conflicts in main and I think I will let's have a look so doesn't look too bad. It's just a few. So head had check right pong. So check pong left input. Da 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 refactor circle position. Yeah, so we don't even have the cave in here. So we're just gonna delete that. We're gonna keep what's in the head essentially. Um next one. So we don't have any of this draw button text because we're in the Pong branch. So we're gonna delete that and keep this Pong stuff. Now we don't have left score. We do have this clear screen draw cave. This is all from the original, the demo code from main. So we're gonna get rid of that. Now in here head, we have net dots. So these are all things we need. Play ball sound, Tom don't know if this was used in the Pong branch. Let's have a quick look for this. Pong control plug, play ball sound is used. So we'll keep that as well. So we'll keep both of the changes. Now that was it, I think. Oh, we'll have a look for some more of the Git markers. That seems to be all of them. But now before I go and commit, I'm going to take the changes for Wait, maybe that was maybe everything I needed to do. So let's have a let's build. I've gotten rid of some of the implicit declaration of function play samples play sample. That is definitely an issue from the play, redefinition of play ball sound. Ah, so this is this is a refactoring issue. Play ball sound. Da, da, da. Play ball sound. Why are you giving me a redefinition? Ah, because this was the one I should have. So if we go back, I should have actually deleted this one. I've just happened to have named the two functions the same. So now it's saying that it also doesn't have this V play sample. But if we look into the refactored main demo code commit, We can see that we've renamed vplay sample to tum play sound sample. So we'll just copy him and we'll just put him in here. And that should hopefully fix up the, those two errors. Okay, we still don't have this guy. And I think because I moved him somewhere. Now let's find out where he is. Grep for mm, q max name length okay undeclared maybe it was a mistake to delete that from um, this guy wherever it was 
lib async async io yes and so the last one i what did i do in here last now it's not giving me any my previous work why not mm -hmm. so the changes in here we can see we are missing max q name length and it wasn't part of these changes. And so I must have moved this by accident. Go find it. Mm -hmm. Get diff to the lib da da graphic uh, async. Nothing. Uh. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to add it in again. Max. Pretty sure it was up at top and it was it's like where is it here max name length i'm pretty sure i removed this though max name length i believe i deleted this when i did this guy this is why it's missing because i'm pretty sure i deleted this in here facts more da da mm-hmm I did right here. So this is why it's still there because we actually needed to apply this minor fixes, fix memory leaks patch. Um, so maybe if I actually try and do that, get cherry pick, it will hopefully So now we've got a, mer a merge error in main because did I actually do some work in main here? to five files and so I didn't do any changes to main so that shouldn't have given me conflicts for the main oh wait no it didn't because I just didn't commit it at it before but ah, I have uncommitted files okay so I'm going to commit this now so this was the fix for um, refactoring I think git log refactoring I can't even remember what I did last oh yes git commit um, uh, updated main for refactoring. This was when I um, applied the da, 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 da. and now we can cherry pick this guy. These minor fixes and this has given us lots of merge conflicts so this is really not a very straightforward merge um, update but this is showing you the process I guess of doing involved updates and so this is a bit too bit tricky for you guys I think so I'm gonna have to look into fixing all of this for you so this is just more stupid um, merge conflicts so this is obviously complete rubbish and this here is just more documentation and um, I think that was all of the conflicts in there yep and so the next one is lib graphics tom event and in here we have, how is that even a merge conflict? Oh, because there's white space in front of the exit success instead of, I mean, the spaces instead of tabs. So we'll take the tabs and that's that one done. So that was another superficial commit. So we'll just make a temporary commit and then I'll refactor this all, uh, rebase this all at the end. So now we've hopefully got our code building because we've added in the minor fixes which added it which got rid of the define the line using the define that no longer exists so now we've refactored the main code and now we've refactored the back-end libraries and now we just have to add support for the, for the images and so hopefully this should be very straightforward get cherry pick yay was and so we should now have a refactored everything 
and we should be able to run the game and it should still not yet. So now I've updated all of the, um, the changes. Now, this was not a very smooth process because I overlooked this minor fixes um, perhaps, um, changes here. And so if you were to go and do this, if you just apply this, then this, um, and then this, and this, and then this, it should work. Obviously you have to change the main. And so you can try and take the, the patches to the main and it should fix everything up for you. But otherwise you can just go and do it manually, sort of like what I did. But now the problem is that after doing all of these updates, I have a pretty messy log. And for instance here, I mean, that was just, usually you wouldn't leave a commit message like this. This is totally bad. Even for some of these, these aren't really that um, very, you know, they don't explain much. But the whole idea of this is that I just want to leave this here to sort of get the commit so I can move on with cherry picking new things. And I'm gonna go back and rebase. And so I did a bit of an explanation in the rebasing. And what rebasing is gonna do is essentially lets me compress um, I mean, it can do lots of things. I can compress commits onto each other. I can reword them. And so what I'm probably going to do is sort of compress all of these changes on top of each other into one sort of patch commit. And I'll just say, you know, updating Pong from master for since blah, 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 implementing these sorts of things. And I can reword my commits at the same time. So we'll do that now. I want to rebase from this point. So I'll take him and I want to get rebase. I, and then I'll put this in and it will give me this list of things to do. This should look similar to when I did the, um, the Git tutorial. Now this is the original com the commit before, um, wait, no, edit sports for loading caches. No, this is the first change essentially I want, right? And so I'm going to use this fix up and what fix up does essentially it squishes the commit into its previous commit. So this will become my base commit and I'll squish all of these into this commit and I'll reword this commit using reword, which you'll see here. And so reword will let me change the commit message so that I can make essentially squish these all on top of each other and make one detailed commit message telling me what all of these changes have done. So let's reword him. So R, uh, and then we can just go and change this pick. Mm -hmm. to fix or we'll go better space uh, to f and so now we're in the reword and so what this is where i'm going to change my commit message so updated the pong branch uh pong pong game to incorporate changes from the last weeks namely uh, including twin fonts, mouse button events, refactoring of libraries, and load loading loading loaded. Or what would I call it? And loaded images. So that was a long commit message. And so there we go. Now, if we look at my Git log, it's a lot cleaner. I have one commit. And if I was to look at my, the changes that this one does, so if I go git diff head, head, there is like pages of changes because this is all of these commits on top of each other. Like this is a big commit, but we don't really care. So now we can push this to origin uh, pong and I will force push because I have changed the history of my, um, my repository. And so I'm just gonna have to do a bit of a, so now if we go into the emulator and go into, uh, sorry, branches, yeah. Pong, we'll see in the commit history here, this one long commit. And so we should be good to just check it one more time after rebasing. We have Pong, happy days. I need to go and fix these disappearing walls, but that's another problem, not important. So I hope this helps um, with how you update and using cherry pick and essentially, I mean, if you really are bothered to rebase your commit um, history and hopefully this helps. Adios.